Hey guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're gonna talk about trailer tires and specifically the tires that I bought for my RV. So stay with us, guys. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, guys, if you have a trailer of any kind, RV, boat, um, dump trailer, you name it, one of the worst things that can ever happen to you is a flat tire or um, in most cases with these RVs it ends up being a tire blowout. Um, it's going to ruin your weekend and uh, or you know whatever time you have you're now going to be uh, spending time fixing things and on these RVs it's usually a major repair. So you know a lot of people want to make sure that they purchase the best possible tire they can and just minimize their risks. And I'm, I obviously went through the same um, research and whatnot for this, and I want to share that with you. I am not a tire expert, um, but I do have an engineering background and understand failure modes and so forth. And so I just want to talk about, you know, uh, the process that I went through and why I landed with the Goodyear Endurance tire, because uh, there's a lot of choices out there. All right, where do you start? There's a million different tire brands out there. Um, there's a bunch of different tire ratings and so you know I kind of went through a process and I started at, at the tire rating and hopefully that would kind of narrow things down for me obviously you're gonna have a tire size that's gonna narrow things down for you a little bit um, we won't jump into that too much here but um, you know obviously you're gonna find certain tires that make a size for your trailer but tire rating um, is something that you need to pay attention to um, obviously your your tires are gonna have a rating for your trailer, but you do have some flexibility um, You know usually you can you can't usually go down um, But you can go up and what I mean by that is you know what these tires are rated for in terms of overall weight um, These tires here are an F rated tire and uh, I checked you know the, the maximum capacity of this trailer which you know my wife has a tendency to overload um, and so, you know, I debated whether I should go up to a, a G-rated tire. I know there's some videos that recommend that. Um, there's problems with going, you know, higher too, guys. So overkill doesn't necessarily mean better. You know, some guys will go up to a, a G-rated tire. It's more like a semi-truck tire, very flat. Um, you know, can travel at a higher speed and, uh, um, you know, has more weight capacity. But they have other problems too, right? They delaminate a little bit easier. And so, you know, I think it's a smart move to stay within the design of your trailer. So whatever your trailer is rated for, if you're kind of in the middle of that, um, you know, stick with the rating that, that you have for your trailer, unless you're right on the edge where you could pop up to the next size. Um, I just felt like, you know, for me personally, this trailer was kind of right in the middle of the rating for the F. And even if I overload it, I'm still well within the range of the F rated tire. So, so I sat, decided to stay with F. Um, so that's the first thing that you need to pay attention to is the rating. Okay, aside from rating, there's also, you know, there's trailer tires and then there's truck tires. Some people are putting truck tires on trailers. And, you know, not that that's wrong, but to me, that's another example of overkill. So if you go too high in the rating, or you spend extra money for a truck tire. It's really not needed on a trailer. Um, maybe you have endless amount of funds and you can spend the money on truck tires. They're a lot more money than trailer tires. So just be aware of that. They're not necessarily better and, uh, and they do cost a lot more. So let's talk about brand. You know, there's a million kinds of brands. You've all heard the term China bombs. Um, you know, a lot of these trailers come with uh, a China made tire. Um, are they bad? Uh, statistically probably a lot more blowouts with China tires versus USA made tires um, but I do think there are some decent China made tires out there um, I'm not gonna you know analyze that because I don't really have the data to support it but um, I have China made tires on my dump trailer they seem to work fine and I beat the heck out of that thing um, and China tires were on this one incidentally it's the same tire on both my dump trailer and this one. It was called a provider. I don't know much about them, but I ended up uh, switching out here to the Goodyear Endurance. Um, there's, uh, you know, Carlisle's a US made tire that's decent. I almost did Carlisle, 
that came down to uh, you know where I was actually going to get the tires changed out, which I'll talk about later. Um, they didn't have Carlisles; they had to order them. So and I thought oh, I'll just I'll stick with what they what they sell. And I'm going to talk about why I did that. But lots of brands. Uh, Saloon's another one. Um, and, you know, people put those on. I think they're a good tire as well. So um, I'm just going to specifically from here talk about Goodyear and the Endurance and why I think they did a nice job of addressing the problems. And um, you know, time will tell, right? But uh, I can at least walk through that and and tell you why I chose the Goodyear Endurance. Okay, so Goodyear Endurance. Why did I pick that? Um, there's a few reasons. Number one, they're USA made. It was kind of a criteria. It's actually a theme for me these days. I uh, won't get into that, but you know, USA made was kind of the first thing that checked the box. The second thing was the stiff sidewall. So I talked about going up to a, a G-rated tire, really stiff sidewall. Um, I think that protection from uh, um, overall speed and hitting curbs and that kind of thing makes some sense. And so these have a tremendously strong sidewall compared to the, the tire that was on here. Um, show you, you know, did a little compression test here, kind of informal, but you can see here how, how much stiffer this endurance tire is. Even though the ratings of these two tires are the same, the sidewall is a lot stiffer. Um, the other thing that I like about it is it's actually got a designed kind of scuff protection. So, you know, hitting curbs. And when you back these trailers up, if you turn real sharp, you'll see the wheels kind of, you know, tip real bad and you can get some side scuffing, which, you know, down the road can lead to problems. Um, so that was the other thing. I do like how they look. I know that yeah, most people aren't looking at trailers going, oh gosh, nice tires guy. But, uh, but I do like the way they look. I think they did a good job uh, designing those. But um, the other thing that I do like about them is they have a special liner and time will tell on this, but um, that special liner is supposed to um, help for punctures and also keep the tires inflated to the proper uh, PSI. And then the last reason I went with Goodyear Endurance is I personally like discount tire. They're nationwide, um, so if I'm traveling with this thing, I can usually find a discount tire somewhere and get the tire replaced. Uh, they talked me into the Goodyear Endurance. That's what they carry. They usually have them in stock. And uh, if I do have a blowout, they will stand by it and replace it for free. So, uh, you know, discount tire, there's lots of good tire places. Um, I ran into some that wouldn't actually change out the tires. I ran into some that wouldn't balance the tires for me. You know, you hear the argument, well, it's just a trailer. You can't feel if they're out of balance. And so we don't need to balance them. Well, I got news for you, you know, if a tire is wiggling down the road, it's going to mess up your bearings a lot quicker than a tire that's balanced. So get your tires balanced. Um, so discount tire, you know, nationwide, um, they stand behind their product. They actually worked right on the RV, right outside their garage. Did everything, it was pretty hands off. Um, I'm just a fan of discount tire. Not sponsored by them by any means, but I'm a fan of discount tire. So that was the other reason I went with Goodyear Endurance. All right, lastly, I just want to talk about failure modes of tires and how Goodyear has addressed all of these things. So, so how does a tire fail? Well, obviously the one that nobody can prevent is a puncture, right? So if you pick up a nail, you know, you're gonna lose air, you could have a blowout. There's not much you can do about that other than be super careful while you drive. Um, so aside from punctures, what are the other failure modes? Well, the first one I'm gonna talk about is time. So, you know, as these tires age, they have a tendency to degrade either from UV exposure from the sun or just time and weathering, um, you know, rubber has a tendency to break down. So there's kind of a general rule out there, um, you know, three to seven years is when you want to replace trailer tires. And that depends on your situation. If they're in the sun a lot, if you have it parked a lot, you know, when they sit still, not on the road, that also causes them to get, uh, you know, flat spots and so forth. And so um, that three to five years is going to vary. I actually or sorry, three to seven years is going to vary. I took this to the full seven years with mine. Uh, I did have one flat tire, picked up a nail, so no blowouts, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, there's nothing worse than seeing someone on the side of the road with a blowout. So how do folks get these blowouts? What's happening? Well, the first thing that you can prevent, and a lot of you don't even know, is that speed is a killer. And why is speed a killer? It has to do with heat, actually. So the faster you go, and the hotter the day, the more likely these tires are, are to blow out. And so you always see guys when I'm, you know, on the interstate and I see them on the side and feel bad for them, but 
guess what? You know, they had passed me a while ago doing 90. And these tires are rated for a speed. Um, Goodyear has rated their tire at, I think, 80 or 85 miles an hour. I never go that fast. I'm, you know, I'm Mr. 65, maybe 70. You know, the trucks are blowing by me, but I don't care. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there safe. Um, you know, you're not saving yourself any time if you go if you go 90 and then have a tire blowout. So, so speed, um, heat is a failure, UV exposure, and then just, uh, you know, storing them. And so Goodyear's done a great job of addressing um, the sidewall uh, scuffing issue. They've got a special sidewall called Durawall. Um, you know, and it just, you know, if you're hitting curbs, which, you know, we all try to miss those things, but somehow they seem to, you know, trip us up from time to time. And then when you back up these trailers, I talked about earlier, you know, they have a tendency to kind of roll on their sides and you get side scuffs. And so that just breaks things down. Um, and Goodyear's done a great job of making it super stiff and added a little more material on the side to prevent, um, you know, damage in that regard. I talked a little bit about the inner liner, which, you know, helps with the overall PSI and be able to hold air. Um, if I had to be critical of this tire, the one thing that I wasn't super thrilled with um, but they have a reason for it is the tread. Um, the tread isn't super deep. And so when you're buying uh, tires for your car, that's usually something that you look for is a nice deep tread and you want a certain tread, to, you know, for snow and that kind of thing. You know, trailers don't necessarily need traction. So that, that thought process is hard to get rid of. But um, what Goodyear is saying is that their tread design, you know, dissipates heat. I don't know if that's true could be marketing but um, that's why their tread isn't super deep uh, you know I was worried about that because you know, if you compare it to a Carlisle tire for example the tread depth on this is uh, significantly less so so anyway time will tell I'll do a you know one or two year review on these tires but that's why I went with Goodyear Endurance Right now, I feel like they're the only company that's actually looked at the problems that trailers are having and actually engineered a tire for a trailer. So I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment about this. I know people are pretty passionate about tires. I am too. would love to hear your comments and the tires that you went with and why you did that. We can all learn together. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, send this video to your friends. If you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button. Please hit that like button, helps out the channel a ton, and remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.